Yeah, so here we go. We're getting the first game, and Viceroy might have gone with the meta play, uh, beat your opponent so fast that your other opponent has no time to calm down from the tilt. I don't know. He might have just been on that nefarious genius level, because sometimes with the way that he's playing around with like Luma and all the traps, it looks like he knows something that I very clearly do not. Well, currently, you know, ZD's saying he knows a little something too. He's hitting Luma on the way back, negating the attack, running underneath Luma and just chasing down Viceroy. I was talking about how, you know, Fox is at that weight, but it's looking like Rose is at that weight the way ZD is playing. It's almost looking true. Yeah, and to add on on top of that, we are on Battlefield too. So um, things that would confirm to kill on most other stages might not kill here for Rosalina. But Fox, uh, since he's fighting such a light character, his kill confirms don't really change too much. Yeah, they don't. And that two frame coming in by ZD, very good into that back air. That's the second time Viceroy's gotten off the edge with an up air, kind of looking like Cloud, but it has indeed been working. Yeah, I mean, Fox doesn't have any big disjoints to work his way around that, so he just kind of has to respect it, hold shield. But uh, now, like, that was a great juggle by Viceroy, getting some good damage on him, but he has to get this kill soon. Lots of rage, and Luma will be offline and serves himself up. Tries to maybe snap ledge a little bit too close, but ZD is going to punish it regardless of what Viceroy tried to do. But Viceroy does it right back to him. A huge forward smash, evening those scales. Very, very quick right there, you know. And ZD, it wasn't much he really could do. Maybe he could have went for a Firefox. Who knows? But that forward smash by Viceroy is so well placed. But just like that, ZD firing right back 37% quickly on Viceroy. But Viceroy just saying, hey, I'm no slouch. I can do it right back to you. Absolutely. You have to play so respectful and on point when Viceroy is there. Because otherwise, he will just come straight at you and you'll be dead before you even know it. Trading the Nair with a side B after Rosa was in his son, too. It's forcing so many trades with lunar landings and just great Luna, Luna spacing. Luma spacing, rather. Yeah, the spacing on both these players was just great. Um, that down air, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but he got rid of Luma and was able to kind of evade any option Vyshwer would want to punish him with. And there's the air dodge. I was going to say, don't do it. ZD, ready for it. Going to go for that up tilt. This time, he was kind of ready for the jump, but Luma comes back just in time. Vyshwer poised to take this first game. Has um, ZD off stage? Rinse repeat. Are we going to see a charge F smash come in? We see a charge up smash this time. A down tilt resets the situation. Oh, ZD bad. fighting to get back on stage, and he just cannot do it. This now the Vice Roy game, and ZD is just playing it. But ZD gets the right hitbox of the side B. He tries to force 50 50. Vice Roy does guess right, and now ZD tags him out of that neutral air, too. He has to make his way back. With the up tilt two frame, Luma's still there hovering though. Nice by ZD just to retreat, not play that game around Luna. But now he has to make his back, way back on stage. And we've seen this go south so many times before. Good coverage by Viceroy. And he almost gets the 50 50 correct. And now let's see what he has. Luma with the coverage, the mega homie that time around gets a back throw too. Viceroy has to make the situation happen though because we've seen ZD on the ledge. He's so potent there. And wow. the Lu Luma giveth and Luma taketh away. The uh, Forest Master already has a ridiculous amount of active frames. Will be extended even further by just the meaty hitbox, or hurtbox rather, of uh, Luma. And that's going to just give Viceroy no way around getting uh, up through the ledge on that. Yeah, that was just a nail biter. It did come down to that Forest Smash, as you said, so well placed by ZD. Um, and this was after Vice Roy just had him literally off stage for about 15, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so good job on ZD to kind of make it back on stage. And when it came down to the scramble, managed to come out on top. Um, and, you know, with that said, let's not forget that ZD had the huge lead and Vice Roy just tied it up so quickly. Yeah, these two players, I feel like they're playing at a very even level today. So unless someone throws on some huge afterburners or someone chokes, I feel like this will be a game five down the wire. So. Definitely looking like we're about to tie it up 1-1 right now with Viceroy and just these up airs, just X hitting its spot every time. I like that. The tilt right after kind of covering both on um, both sides. And ZD finally kind of starting to mount a little bit of offense of himself. Got rid of Luma and now he is just letting it unleash on Viceroy. But Viceroy, you know, putting him off stage just like that and alleviating a bit of that pressure. Yeah, but Viceroy Woo! burns his jump, and he's going to get burned in exchange for that, too. Everything was just flipped on its head. ZD with a great air dodge read. And, you know, I have not seen ZD do that in forever. 
So one, it was bold, but two, just so genius to go for that option, knowing exactly how he can end the stock and in what fashion. Yeah, the other thing is that's a little bit more effective on floatier characters because uh, like they'll just hang out there around that Firefox hitbox a bit more. So good job playing to the player and the character by ZD. Yeah, one of the best in the business when it comes to understanding matchups proficiently. ZD making it back on stage, taking stage control right now. Vice for he's going to search for something. That up air was not what he needed, though. Good back air, you know, ZD going after Luma. And Vice Roy just firing right back, but you can't save him this time. Yeah, just enough percent for Luma to finally die. But even without Luma, it's amazing how um, confident that Vice Roy is still trying to play. But another reaction. Good gracious. Yeah. Like ZD said, you should be able to react to every single tech chase scenario. And with ZD's ridiculous uh, reaction time, that's just a deadly combination. That. It, it was almost rem reminiscent of watching a basketball game where you kind of cross them up and the person falls. Yeah. And you, you wait for him to stand up before you shoot the J. Mm. You bring back all those like repressed schoolyard <laughs> memories. I, I, I was thinking of Steph Curry. <laughs> Curry's like, <laughs> I need you to stand up first. Dang but, you know, man. just quite the statement, the confidence in ZD, and just the proficiency he has with this character. And it, it just goes to show how good he is at this game. Yeah, the Viceroy is by no means out. We've seen him do a great job on so many sets, bring it back from the brink. So even though ZD is up 2-0, like, Rosalina can't always just make a comeback. And he is channeling his inner debuzz because he's looking like a wall right now that ZD just can't find his way around. He is 65 to 13. I don't know the last time ZD's actually hit this man. Oh, my gosh. Viceroy still oh. over and reads the air dodge. 87, but ZD's still alive for the moment. Is he going to be able to make it back? He does. Finally gets his feet on the ground. We will see how long, though. Almost had a hard read with an up smash on that side B right there, too. And now ZD finally has some sort, like some semblance of presence on the stage. It's only a matter of time, though. He has to capitalize it, but he eats a nair for his trouble. And yeah, these down tilt walls are looking rough to get around. He's tacking on a little bit of damage. Nothing too bad. Just yeah, the stock is still there, so the comeback is still plausible. But it's not looking great right now. It is not at the moment. But you know, at 115, well, now 119. One thing ZD has done well is that when it. Oh my gosh, I think that might be it though. Or he's going to be able to up B. Is the down there going to come in? It does, and it connects. Good job on Vice for a setting up the checkmate situation and then executing perfectly on it. Yeah, now he's playing to his strengths. It looks like before he was trying to play to ZD's pace. And when you play to ZD's pace, that's when he starts to blow you, blow you up. When you play to Fox's pace, like most characters just can't do that. But Rosalina is one of those characters that um, you have to respect and you have a wall in Luma to get around. So play to that. And so far, it's working out for him. And the re-grab right there. But is ZD going to be able to finish him? He almost, but, you know, Viceroy, just kind of a puppeteer that he is, using Luma to kind of evade some of the situation that ZD was trying to set him up for. Yeah, up tilt working with great anti-air. Up throw, though, I like that separating Luma from uh, Rosalina, but uh, it's just a matter of time before he flows straight back. And wow, jump off the ledge, down air, so much base, knockback, and the Luma only hit. That's going to give Viceroy a lot of stage advantage to work with. But he's sticking with him. ZD is trying to get the better end of so many of these reads, but he's just slightly off space each time. Viceroy staying alive, though. Tries to two-frame with the down smash, but not quite finding his mark. That was a re-grab. I thought we were actually going to see um, ZD just kind of pull the trigger with the down smash. Um, but he did not. And Viceroy stalling for time, trying to get Luma back only seconds away. And there it is. Luma is here. And with Max Rage on Rosalina, ZD definitely putting on, is put on notice. Yeah. An up throw to up air uh, might come close to killing. We're putting in a really compromising position off 50-50. So I think everyone knows that. ZD is trying to stay safe. And Viceroy skipping the up throw, just going straight for the up air. And now this is the compromising position that I was talking about before. Luma is going to be sent to tumble, but Z not recognizing it in time. So now Luma and um, a full rage Rosalina are just waiting in the wings. And another down smash situation is reset. This is looking more and more bleak for ZD. Every second that Viceroy keeps his feet on the stage, just runs up and nares him, almost killing too. But <laughs> oh, what? What? Very, very tricky by Vice Roy. Again, like I said, the puppeteer master. You know, he he kind of brought Luma halfway, stopped her, and ZD said, hey, I'm safe. And he said, actually, no, there's a second. There's layers to this. Mm -hmm. there's, there's levels to this. There's um, layers and layers and layers. And we're just trying to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, because this is a best of five set. And the way that Vice Roy is playing right now with a two stop, 
I think it's in the cards that uh, Game 5 happens. I want to see it. But I know that ZD does not want to go there because Vice Warrior is stressful to play against, and the more room that you give him to work with is the more room that you give yourself to lose. Definitely the case, and Luma right there trying to be the super homie again, but ZD just having his shield button quite ready, and he gets rid of Luma in the process. What a situation ZD just put himself in. No Luma, Rosa above, and right now relentless on this assault. Doesn't get the two frame, but Vice Warrior has to get back, and Vice Warrior does, you know. Vicefroy not afraid to let go of the ledge and come up with an aerial, and it keeps paying off time and time again. But Luma is at that edge. ZD is definitely going to look to get rid of it, but ZD has to now try to get back on stage against his wall known as Viceroy. Yeah, and he's doing a good job of just that right now. He keeps him trapped on the ledge again. And now Luma's still alive, which is good. This is uh, not a bad position for um, Viceroy to be in at all, because if he just gets one grab, um, we could force a 50-50. But... ZD being so consistent on the two frames, and plus Rosa does stick her head above the ledge during the uppy animation, so it just makes it just that much easier when you have the timing down. This should be another two frame? No, Viceroy, nice uh, angle on that, going into the tumble, so it's a little bit harder. Yeah. Now I'm surprised, uh, well, I understand ZD's trying to kind of end the stock, says, hey, let me go for the down smash, but you know, you can always do the up tilt and go for the air dodge read. Uh, ZD's one of those players that's known for the air dodge read, so I'm a little, a little surprised he didn't go for that option. Yeah, he might be even a little bit antsy, but it's okay, because now Luma's offline. You have a little bit more room to breathe. And Viceroy just playing patient, just not trying to let it happen. But gets one hit of up air off an air dodge read, just sees that doesn't kill, and just goes for back air after that. Like you were saying, there's layers between these two players. Definitely is, you know, at all times. Luma right now still staying alive. ZD, how's he going to get out of this situation? He says, you know what? I'll just roll. I'll just take one of the two hits. There's a chance that he used that tech that was recently discovered, where if you actually, uh, something hits your shield consecutively 10 times in a row, you can actually roll out of it. Really? Is it 10 times? Wait, what? I never heard about that. I'll explain it after this round. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, lay down that knowledge. But in the meantime, uh, Viceroy needs to uh, kind of exert more of his knowledge right now to get this first kill. Uh, and a smash attack should kill if Luma connects. If Luma doesn't connect, I don't think it would kill him. Yeah, not quite yet. Uh, uh, but I'm not even seeing a situation where Viceroy can actually opt for that because ZD is just applying so much pressure. He tried to <laughs> footstool hit Luma alley oop into himself right there. If that worked, I feel like Viceroy should have just hung it up. Like, <laughs> dang, man. And I'm loving ZD's recoveries, you know. He really only died, I believe, once to a, a charged F smash when recovering. Ever since then, he's uh, essentially changed the timing of how he's recovered or the spacing. Mm -hmm. But uh, when that's all said and done, only 34% on a uh, Viceroy. So not quite the lead he was hoping for. Definitely better than uh, it being a tie game. Though. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for ZD right now, though. Luma, though, could have something to say about that. Almost put in a really bad position. I love that option from ZD to completely run underneath a loop of uh, Rosalina and just kind of attack from the other side. Most people are afraid of the situation and hold up shield, but ZD just very confident in understanding the situation perfectly. Mm -hmm. But speaking of that, Viceroy is looking like he's understanding things well. Also, beautiful jab coming in, 49 to 79. ZD back to the edge, but a ill-advised... Oh. oh my oh. goodness, that is it. Talk about capitalization right there. You yeah. know, Viceroy going for kind of an ill-advised option. And oh. after it missed, ZD just completely said, this is it, 3-1, on to grand finals he goes. 